Hi, this is Jim Starkweather with the Kitmaker Network and Aeroscale, and we've got another episode of Turning the Page for you. This is the Osprey Combat Aircraft number 100, the Heinkel 111 Kampfgeschwader on the Russian front. Now, Kampfgeschwader, from what I understand, are basically British uh, special units, aircraft un uh, aircraft. Uh, I'm not sure what you technically would call them, but essentially they're they're units that are um, specialty units, um, and usually in the, in the sense that they were running bombers. Um, this one obviously was the Russian front uh, bombers. The book is by John Wheel. Um, this is a 96 pager uh, Osprey book. The uh, price in the UK list price is 14 pounds. The United States is 23 dollars, and in Canada is 24 dollars. And uh, this is, this is going to have a lot of color, or excuse me, a lot of color plates, but a lot of black and white photos. Let's go ahead and flip her open and see what we see. It's got a nice opening page shot here of, an, of one sitting on the field. Uh, chapter one is Objective Moscow. I didn't know the Germans spelled Moscow that way. It's funny. Uh, chapter two, Indecision Time. Chapter three, The Soviets Strike Back. <sighs> Oh, sorry. Uh, chapter four, Stalingrad. Uh, chapter five, the long road to defeat. And chapter, the last bit is the appendices with color plates, commentary, and index. Um, this is a new book. It was published in 2013, a few a month or so ago, I believe. Um, the first section obviously is dealing with their uh, Operation Barbarossa and the, probably the foundation or the start of these units. All right. Uh, point, moving on. Moving on. Uh, Photos of, uh, I'm assuming, Russian biplanes that did not stand a chance against those early uh, early German onslaught. And uh, again, so you're going to find a lot of uh, black and white photography and a lot of history in these sections. Uh, usually very well researched by people who know uh, what the heck they're talking about versus me. Um, so this is the second chapter in Decision Time. And uh, Soviets strike back. So here's all the the color plates, and they they are you know they're usually very nice. Like uh, this is number 19, the HE111H-6 uh, A1 plus HT of the 9. Dot slash KG53 Legion Condor, uh, Gosh. Uh, Goskino, September 1942, and that that was number 19. So, when you flip through the book, uh, let's flip through the little last bits here and uh, get through to the, to the end, the long road to defeat, because the Germans were defeated after all. Um, so then you look up; they have a color co color plate commentary section. You go to number 19 if you wanted to know more about that, and you could read about it. Despite the many and varied winter camouflage schemes depicted on these pages, it should be remembered that the Heinkels were standard war standard two-tone green finish throughout the summer months. Having spent most of the whole of the first half of 1942 re-equipping in France, uh, uh, three. Dot KG-53 returned to Eastern Front, to the Eastern Front in August, being based briefly at Smolensk uh, North before moving up to Goskino in September. Here, crews in their newly acquired uh, can't read that it's so small lofty lofty 7D bomb sh bomb sites. Uh, are put, I'm sorry, put their newly acquired Lofty 70 bomb sites to good use during their raids on Leningrad. So again, each, you know, that's quite a bit of information, obviously, little detailed bits on each of those uh, color plates. Uh, so that gives you a quick kind of uh, brief run through on these books. I have not read this one yet. It is available for review, uh, in-depth written review if you want to uh, if you're interested in any of these Osprey books or any of the books I do uh, reviews on, please email me at uh, publisher at kitmaker.net. Uh, because of the weight of some of the books, I can't promise that I can ship to just anyone um, or in, in bulk. Uh, but uh, but in, I would say in North America, yes, and overseas, it's, it does get a little costly to send, for instance, hardcovers and things like that. But uh, that aside, uh, I'd like to uh, thank Osprey for this sample. And uh, if you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them below uh, or questions. And uh, we'll look to see you next time on Turning the Page. Thanks for watching.